Welcome to Mecham's Gone Farm and Vintage Tractor Auction, featuring the only classic tractor auction of its kind in the country. Today, some of the hardest to find tractors in the world will hit the auction block. So sit back and relax and enjoy Mecham's Gone Farm and Vintage Tractor Auction. Hello everyone and welcome to Davenport, Iowa at the Mississippi Valley Fairgrounds. I'm Mike Holland along with my co-host Max Wilson and we'll be with you all weekend as we go through 300 tractors here at Mecham's Gone Farm in Iowa Premier. Should be a fantastic weekend, Max. Yeah, we're really looking forward to a great weather for an auction this weekend. Just looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Folks, there's plenty of auction coming up, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back everyone to the Iowa premiere right here from the Mississippi Valley Fairgrounds in Davenport, Iowa. Let's get back to the action. Beautiful restoration on this tractor. Just newly restored, all new Firestone tires all the way around, chrome grill, oil filter, fuel filter battery cover and hood bolts have all been chrome. Also sold with a second set of oil filter and fuel filter to match the factory red body paint. New seat, new steering wheel, new gauges, and dual hydraulics. And uh, probably we've seen a lot of 1206s, and this ranks right up there with some of the nicer ones that we've had. So, if not one of the nicest. And of course, we've been on quite a few uh, a good string here of feature trackers, and a lot of them today were features from inside the building here. So, That's going to sell at $19,000. John Deere 730 gas, 1960 model with the wide front. Does have the three-piece front weight set, new rubber, factory top link, electric start, and new rubber. So beautiful looking restoration on this tractor. Sounded real good as it was rolling in here, Mike. We already shot past the $10,000 mark, $12,000 bid right now on this uh, good looking 730 gas. Paul standing there talking to the uh, seller right now in front of the podium. And I believe the reserve has just come off of this tractor. We're that 13, is the sign. That has been the sign. Paul has been doing his job all day with these sellers, Max, getting them to re relieve us 
of the reserve that's been placed on each one of these tractors. Offering up even a better opportunity for these bidders in this record crowd here at the Mississippi Valley Fairgrounds in Davenport. And that's going to sell at 13,000, Mike. Alice Chalmers D21 Series 2. Another beautiful restoration. Got the big tires on the back. And you look at the back of this trigger, it's just a big plate. No PTO, no three point arms. She just made the pull. Um, does have a single set of remotes, I believe, out of the back. This one, once again, from the AG, AJ Spiegel Collection. And just a beautiful tractor. I haven't seen too many D21s come across the block up here. And this one is selling at no reserve with a uh, $19,000, $20,000 bid right now on this tractor. So starting to notice a lot of these bigger tractors are starting to get a little more following and we're getting them sold. So. Trying to find that $24,000 bidder. And of course the D21 was the big tractor in the D series for Alice Chalmers. So you sit up nice and high, keep you up out of the dust and dirt and you got your uh, fuel tank there at the back and those big fenders kind of protected you from getting too much dirt and dust on you. $25,000 bid on this beautiful D21. $25,000. Alice Chalmers sells for. Okay, and that's going to bring in S41 as a 1959 John Deere 530 LP tractor. This one had professional restoration, six-piece front weight set, 10-piece rear, rear, rear wheel weights on it. Dual rock shaft with cylinders, so once again got the front rock shaft on it. Has had an article in two-cylinder magazine on this tractor. Full inside and outside restoration. So once again, another beautifully restored tractor. One of 417 built, Mike. So once again, another low production propane tractor. And this is from that John Deere liquid propane gas collection that we've got coming through here. $10,000 right out of the gate here. Making jumps rather quickly. Now we're at 17.5. Now got Dan and Paul up there talking with the uh, seller. And they've taken the reserve off again. This tractor now sitting at $23,500. The reserve has been lifted. This tractor will sell today. 24,000 bid now, just got another another one coming in. There's another one Kathy just got. 
great camera shot, bringing right over the top of that tractor, showing its pristine condition, fantastic restoration. Kathy staying busy, keeping an eye on any bidder in the process. Closing in on that $25,000 mark right now. Boy, that is a great shot of that 530 right there, coming right up over the top. Yes, and I mean, all the work's been done there. It's got the front weight sets all the way around. I mean. And Dan running through the crowd right now, getting back to uh, the other bidder that we've had on the line here. Kathy right now holds a bid over in the opposite corner of where we're sitting. As we just get hit the $27,000 mark. $27,000, that tractor rolling out at no reserve. Another great price for one of these propane. Well, that's going to bring us into lot S44 to a John Deere 720 diesel standard. Yeah, we're on S44 here. Yep, uh, John Deere 720 diesel standard, one of 133 standard diesels made. This one, once again, um, has a 14 rear wheel weight, six piece front weight set, dual rock shaft set up on the front. One set of uh, front wheel weights, complete restoration inside and out, and this is also an electric start, 720 diesel standard. So another one from the uh, propane uh, John Deere LPG collection. So. And once again, another one on the rarer side. You got the uh, weights all the way around, beautiful restoration. Yeah, this one also has a rear uh, rock shaft delete on it. We gotta be, we're shopping up there right now. I mean, if we hook up, do you wanna sell it or, or is it gonna be in the 30s, Joe? Well, not, not yet, do we? I mean, we do? We got. Still uh, hammering away on this thing. We got 27. Going to splint the reserve like they did the last time, and hopefully it keeps going. And this has been a great group of uh, rare tractors to have come through here. Last time it went up four or five thousand. We could roll the dice and try it again. We got 27 for sure. Roll the dice and see what happens. Lift the reserve. Hey, 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 hey. They want a lot more of it. And the reserve has been pulled at $27,000. And of course, these John Deere's bringing record numbers like we've never seen before at these auctions, Max. 
Yeah, these have been selling real well. Well, you bring good quality tractors and the restorations and everything, and you'll get your good money out of them. And, um, the guy has been serious about selling. He's uh, being aggressive and pulling the reserves. So. going to sell for 27,500 right out in front of us here Mike another hard fought battle on that tractor getting the reserve pulled and getting the tractor sold and it's going to bring in S57 is a 1972 John Deere 3020 has a superior restoration number 95 and certified expo quality number 747 serial number on this tractor is 156304 new tires factory rocks PTO, dual set of hydraulics, three-point lights, uh, front weights, entire electrical system is re redone with the exception of the fuel gauge, complete engine overhaul, and hydraulic pump rebuilt. One of the nicest 3020s we've seen come through here, 3020 diesel. And uh, $20,000 bid right now on this 3020. does have the uh, double sl double stack front weight on or front end weights on it. And the reserve has just been pulled on this tractor at about $23,000. $26,000 bid. Twenty-seven. As Logan just announced, the bid is or the reserve has come off of this tractor. So. Sold at 27.5 Kevin. Sold at 27.5 Kevin. S58 coming on in. That's going to sell at 27.5. This one here is a John Deere 730 LP standard, one of 220 built. This one, once again, professional restoration, 14 rear wheel weights, six piece front weight set on it also. Dual rock shaft set up for the front, one set of front wheel weights. Tractor was in an article of two cylinder magazine, and this one has been completely gone through inside and out. So. Very, uh, another very nice looking tractor from this uh, John Deere LPG collection. This one coming in with a little bit of assistance here today, but um, guaranteed to start and run. We got Paul up there talking uh, with the seller again. And every one of these trackers has been restored to better than new. What exactly does that mean, Max? Are they going to put something on there that wasn't on the actual original? No, what it is when you talk about better than new as far as uh, when they left the factory, these tractors were not perfect paint-wise. And when you're talking about better than new, is it's uh, pretty much uh, mentioning the fact that this one, the paint, the paint on these tractors, a lot of them that come through here, uh, when they painted them at the factory, it just kind of stood back and put a coat of paint on. They didn't get in all the nooks and crannies. It was just a quick coating to get them out the door. So um, this one here, if I'm looking at it right, is a rock shaft elite tractor, and it appears to have the dual hydraulic setup on it. So 
not even close on this one. He said this one, we're not even in the ballpark. I mean, for 25 or so, Joe, could you talk? Well, we do have 18-5. Well, hey, unless, unless you want to, Joe, we got 19. If you want to gamble like the last time, let the reserve and see if it goes up. I mean, we do have two bidders again. You know, we could lift it. Maybe it'll go up, Joe. Lift the reserve, see what happens. Reserve, see what happens, Joe. Hey. And the, the reserve has just come off of this John Deere 730 LP. Announcing that to the crowd. Let's see if we can get some last minute movement. We are now sitting at $22,000. Yeah, they kind of snuck it right up there, and once they hit that 22 mark, it was a done deal. The guy said, pull it and let's sell her. <laughs> right in front of us, he always waits to that last second. Now it, and he's going with the 22,750. Of course, 23,000, the other bidder not even flinching. Yeah, and all of a sudden it's caught fire here now and they're, they're going at her pretty hot and heavy. Wow, and this just <laughs> took a serious jump, Max. This is now sitting at $28,000. It's perfect. $28,000. bid right now. I'll tell you what, Max, I bet that seller is absolutely kissing Paul right about now, mm -hmm. convincing him to lift that reserve, because it was kind of stuck right around the $22,000 mark. We're already at one, now $30,000, almost $8,000 over with the point when he actually took off that reserve. Just to kind of give our viewers watching us today an example of the difference that, could, that taking that reserve off could make. And selling it at $30,000. The next lot from this John Deere uh, LP standard, or LP gas collection. And this one here is a 1957 John Deere 620 propane standard, LP standard. Uh, one of 36 built. So once again, on the rarest of the rare sides. This one has 14 rear wheel weights, six piece front weight set, one set of front wheel weights, the dual rock shaft with the cylinders on the front, and a complete restoration inside and out. So it's been completely gone through. And out of that 36 built, less than, uh, I believe Lance just said less than half a dozen are known to exist, so. And you just look at these tractors, every one of them has just been beautifully restored, Mike. The paint on it just shines. This one also has full three point on the rear. So 22,500 bid on this uh, very nice looking 620 propane standard.
hit it at 24. Let's see if he comes back. We got one up. We've got a uh, 24. Shot of Paul and Dan sitting there talking. Twenty-four thousand bid on that six twenty propane standard. Twenty-four. Let the reserve go around again. See if anybody pops up. And we're going to listen in here to Big Paul and Dan. <laughs> Well, let the reserve and do it. There we go. See what happens? We got 26. Now we got two guys then now. Tell it. We're trying, we're helping all we can, Joe. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey! Reserves off. And the reserve has been lifted here on this 1957 John Deere 620 LPG. It's at now $26,500, spurring on some last minute movement here. We got a couple of guys now. They know it's going going to a new home. They're bidding a little more confidently and uh, just had a couple quick jumps there. Got us right to 27.5. And just sold. Wow. Some last minute heroics in action happening on this 1957 John Deere. Making it known to everyone bidding on this, these tractors are in better shape than they were when they rolled off the assembly line. They have been pristinely restored. And right in front of our booth, a lot of action. Dan waiting on this bidders. We still have some back and forth going on here. We are st sitting at $28,500. This is a no reserve tractor. It will go home today. Now at 28,750. And we've got Dan over here working with a bidder right in front of us and Kathy working with a bidder over on the opposite side of the room. This is like a heavyweight fight back and forth. Of course, our bidder here just about reaching his limit. Oh, and he just made it. Just put it in again for 29750 I don't see any letting up on this side, Max. Nope, we just got another one. Oh, just giving the symbol to Dan that he has washed his hands. <laughs> and the bidding just reaching over his limit. We are now sitting at $30,000 for this one-of-a-kind tractor. Well, near one-of-a-kind tractor. <laughs> and the guy it's that just gave... Them. The guy that just gave the signal he was done just jumped back in at 30,250. He <laughs> kind of thought it over a little bit and figured it all over. right. I think they both want this tractor bad. Well, 
I think the gentleman right in front of us getting a little coaxing from his friend, telling him you've got to reach out as far as you can. This is, this we absolutely cannot let this tractor go. $32,000 that tractor sells over Kathy's way. After one heck of a fight, that one sells. So. Absolutely. Very nice looking 1975 John Deere 6030 at lot F49. Just look at those big tires, Mike, and the fenders. Got the roll guard with the canopy. Restored correctly, no expenses spared restoration. 16 5 inch front wheels with 30.5 inch rear wheels. Has the weights. It is a row crop setup, meaning it does have the uh, adjustable front end on it. Has a quick hitch, PTO and dual hydraulics. Has the uh, chrome stack and the chrome air cleaner pipe on it. Just a very nice restoration on this. And uh, of course, you're seeing a lot more of these big, uh, the big dogs for the John Deere and the IH lineup are starting to come to these auctions now, and it's kind of a changing in the guard for the collectors. Um, of course, I know quite a few people that are always real in it been interested in the 6030s. The big thing is, is hauling them. I mean, that's a heavy tractor, and you look at the width on it, you're not going to get that on your normal trailer. You're going to need a uh, deck over trailer or semi trailer to haul that. Um, 27.5 bid right now kind of speaks to the uh, restoration work that's been done on the tractor. Does appear to have the long axles in it, so. Another beautiful camera shot from the front end, looking looking down at the hood, and you look at those big tires on the front and the rear. And of course, 6030 was uh, really the first production two-wheel drive tractor to reach 200 horsepower. And that would be why you need tires that big is to hold that 200 horsepower to the ground. And as that thing was sitting here idling, they just got a unique sound to them, that big diesel engine in them. So. $30,500 on this 60-30 right now. And Dan on the far side over there just securing up $31,000. Just hit 32, looking for 33,000. Looks like Big Paul's back there talking with David. That's who we've got on the screen right now and uh, kind of uh, checking out, uh, see if our uh, phone or internet bidders are getting in on this or not. Of course, Max and I realized in the hard way they forgot to install some heaters into this <laughs> beautiful brand new facility here at the Mississippi Valley Fairgrounds. For those of you that are watching us via RFD TV, you are tuned in to the Iowa premiere here in Davenport, Iowa, where we have more than 300 phenomenal classic tractors hitting the block this weekend. As they just announced, the reserve has come off on the 60-30. So this tractor will go, and he just sold it at $33,000. Another unique tractor here, low hour. This is S29, is 1983 John Deere 4050. One owner with 645 original hours on it. Always garage kept in a climate control building, original condition, has a front weights, three point and PTO. I was uh, examining this tractor fairly close and it was pretty nice. I mean, you get walking around, everything on this tractor is dead original, so. And of course the 50 series tractors have been really hot as far as uh, prices and everything. The used values on these have been great. And right now we're at a $30,000 bid on this tractor already with very low hours. I would think with where this would probably be going is into a museum with that low hours. Oh, 
Already at $35,000 now. And getting some quick late movement on this one. Already reaching $40,000. And I figured this tractor would be pretty popular and go for a fairly uh, decent price here with uh, the low hours on it and it being uh, one owner and garage kept all its life. So. And this certainly is going to be one of our top sellers so far of the auction. With a lot of tractors to go. And we've got Big Paul and Dan back there working with Ben Meekham. I believe they've got a phone bid or uh, internet bid on it right now. I believe we've also got a, oh, they were working with the seller back there and the reserve has just been pulled on that tractor. We're at uh, 42.5 on this track right now. And that's going to go for a record $42,500 here at the Iowa Premier in Davenport, Iowa. This one's had a complete restoration engine overhaul, new tires. The duals are 71070R38, so they're nice, big, wide duals. And this thing is just a monster. It's actually so big we can't even bring it into the building here. So we're going to be selling it off of the screens. It has uh, custom fenders with a custom gauge cluster on either side. This thing has been built to run and uh, is probably one, one of the nicest 6030s out there if you're into the uh, custom tractor. So it does have a double set of front weights on it. So we're uh, 27.5 on this 6030. And this, this thing here, I mean, if, if we could have brought it across the block, it is a beautiful looking tractor. The paint job on it's flawless and all the work's done would be a good one to take and show off at uh, any of the shows that you go to, so. And Kathy pulling uh, two bidders over there, going back and forth. So. Now Kevin just got one over here in the middle somewhere. Or actually Travis back here at the back. So we just hit the $40,000 mark on this uh, 6030. Kathy just got another bid there, just got us to the 41,000 mark. Selling off the screen here, Max, right now at 40, now $43,000. Some late action on this one. I think you were mentioning this yesterday, these 6030s, you never know what they're gonna be able to bring to the block. Right, you don't know, and one time they might go real high and the next time they're kind of flat, but um, this one here with the quality of the restoration work and everything, uh, Justifiably bringing it up in our uh, higher range for today. So. And it's going to sell at 44000 Yes, it is. Another great price here. This is the 1959 John Deere 730 LPG High Crop. Yeah, and this one here is another one a lot of people have been waiting for to see come across the block. This is one of 28. Uh, LP high crops built 
six-piece front weight set, uh, one set of front wheel weights, original and correct three-point on the high crop trackers. That's kind of unusual to see. Dual rock shaft set up on the front, um, just like the last tractor we saw, that's those, that front individual set up on either side for raising either rig. Was in a John Deere museum. And this is beyond expo quality, one of a kind condition. So, Max, it was sitting within 15 feet of us. I didn't even know the tractor was on. It was running that quiet. Yeah, and that's with a chrome straight pipe on it. <laughs> Very sharp looking, probably one of the best uh, examples out there of a 730 propane high crop. So. already hitting the $40,000 mark. I think the crowd here, Max, is probably in stunned silence so far as what they're seeing. Yeah, I think they're more in awe right now. Yeah. I think they're hopefully here in a few minutes, they're gonna wake up and see what's in front of them. I mean, it is a beautiful restored tractor. You get that, uh, get the lights in here shining off of that paint and it, it just pops. Got the big rice and cane tires on the back. And I'm going to ask the other yeah. guy for 70000 68 dollars I will ask the other bidder. Thank you. Your man's out. Does your man want to give 70 <laughs> And they just took the reserve off. Big Paul just convinced a seller who has lifted the reserve and it is now sitting at $68,500 trying to spur on some final movement here. $68,500, that tractor sells and that's gonna be a record so far this weekend. Yeah, that's gonna be our high seller this weekend. Well, folks, that's going to wrap it up here from Davenport, Iowa, and Mecham's Gone Farm and Iowa premiere. For today's show, I'm Mike Holland, along with Max Wilson, and we'll see you next time.